Hi guys, it's Franklin Manov and in this video, I want to show you how to create a PayPal account that you can actually use to send and receive funds. Now, we already know that PayPal is really banned in Nigeria and a couple of other places in the world. And it's one thing to be banned by PayPal and not able to access it, but it's another thing where most of the businesses that you most likely be working with internationally require PayPal for you to receive your payment. And this is exactly why it's very important to own a PayPal account. Now, there are several methods that I've actually been spoken about in the past and all. And even in my last video, I got a comment like this, that somebody who watched my video from about four years ago is actually getting to still use that PayPal account and just recently sold it to somebody else. So in the end, you get to figure out that this method works 100%. And I'm actually going to be showing you a more modern method to create that particular PayPal account that works for you. Now, this is part two, the first video. And you actually want to watch that video before you watch this one because I'm going to be continuing for where we stop on there, okay? The link is going to be in the description of my video so you can actually follow through and watch that as well. Now, looking right here on my screen, you can basically see we have actually done the profile verification, the email verification. Now, the next thing is to link a bank or card. You see, guys, this is actually one of the most important things you need to do in this particular space because you know the banks are actually lock up the money and you know go to withdraw at all. It's very, very important. Like, hey, I need my money in my bank account straight. <laughs> so, I want to show you guys the bank you're going to be using with your, you know, uh, PayPal account, with your newly created PayPal account, okay? Now, like I said, up until this point, uh, PayPal still has a very good standing. I'm going to violate a PayPal rule at the end of this video so that PayPal will actually flag me and I will now share with you guys how you can actually get to review that flag and get to still be approved and whitelisted still. Yes, so that you will have issues where PayPal will flag you. So watch this video to the very end. Will you watch it? Will you watch it? Tell me in the comment section now. Let me know those of you guys that are interested so that I can actually continue. <laughs> All right, let's just go ahead, okay? The bank you're going to be linking to your PayPal accounts is actually going to be a US bank. It's very important. So when you actually click on link a bank, it's going to take you over to this page where you basically need to link a U US bank. For example, I'll say, okay, what is the bank type? You know, you have to choose the bank type and all. And the currency has to be US dollars, right? Because you don't want to receive uh, the Arab dirham. So let us just go ahead and we continue with this uh, right now. Now, uh, the bank we're going to basically be using is going to be the bank we're going to be getting from GeekPay. Now, GeekPay basically is a platform that easily gives you access to US bank account details for you to receive international transactions, okay? And this particular guy works, and I'm gonna be leaving a link in the description so you can use my link to sign up, or use my referral code on GeekPay to sign up on this particular space. So as you can see here, they give you a USD bank account, a Euro bank account, a Nigerian bank account, and a couple of other bank accounts. And you can download the app and use your phone to actually make this work for you as well. And another alternative was actually Pioneer. I shared with you guys that, but due to the fact that Pioneer has a couple of restrictions here and there, no, uh, that might not be the best to be used at this particular point in time so that you can just keep that and get straight to the point. So uh, you can just go through the GeekPay website and then it's very simple, just give me the years, the bank account, right? So I'm going to quickly log in because I have an account to set up here. Now I'm going to log into GeekPay and I'm going to show you guys how to do this, okay? Coming over here, we are logged into GeekPay right now as you can see. And you'll see that I have a balance of $300, right? Yeah, you guys can see that right here because I actually do a couple of withdrawals from my PayPal down to this uh, bank. Now, let me quickly tap on this so that I will show you my bank account. So you can see here, uh, this is my recipient account. You can see my bank account details. You can see my expense. In the past couple of days, I've been able to receive over $1,000. I've spent about $715. And you would also see there are a couple of different transactions flowing in and out of this particular platform. But the major thing is, you are giving me bank ID. Let's give me a bank. Bank I want to use now, eh? Oh yeah, <laughs> let's take the bank. So you're gonna come over here and you pick up the bank deals, and you're gonna be, you know, moving to your PayPal. So while you're on here and you're looking at, you know, putting in your details, you wanna come down and click on link a US bank account instead. Simple, straight to the point, okay? And once you click on that, you wanna click on the account type checking. Then you want to click on, uh, you want to add the routing number, you want to add the account number. These are going to be available for you on here. So you can see routing number, account number here. You're going to just paste it instead of here and just click on link your bank. Immediately you do that, you already have your bank linked. That is all. Oh, that bank works 100%. Don't worry. It's not going to be a thing, okay? And once you actually have that, whatever money you're actually going to be putting inside of your PayPal account, you can just withdraw down to 
your gig pay and with gig pay you can always swap to naira so uh, there are different rates on gig pay so if the rate is one thousand today i have a hundred dollars you can swap to like a hundred thousand naira that's it chill and cool right so you guys following me actually <laughs> let me know the question below and most importantly please make sure you watch till the very end because there's more so once you've been able to link this particular bank account like i've actually shown you guys you'll come up on your account right here and you can see that everything is okay your balance zero 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 and you can actually start using this particular people account to transact now there are going to be a couple of things which you most likely need to know in order to use a paypal account paypal hates fraudulent mm. transactions they hate it like crazy okay paypal hates fraudulent transactions all right and you actually want to grow with a paypal account paypal expects you to grow with your account that means don't just come and send ten thousand dollars here they will block that whole your money and nobody, no, nobody cares what it is about you yeah you actually want to send in ten dollars send in twenty dollars send in ten dollars send in fifty dollars send in hundred dollars you like yeah you actually have to prime this account build build capacity with the account like now my account can collect five thousand dollars but over the years i've been building capacity like i've been priming it up like from hundred dollars i'll go to 200 small small enter 500 before i would even do 1000 i'll do 700 come back to a hundred dollars you know let them see the transaction flow in and out of all of your paypal account this is very easy and this is why most of you guys already have issues with your paypal account every now and there your money is stuck because you don't prime your account before you start selling huge bucks start with ten dollars don't worry be patient you will grow eh nothing is happening to this today to this, today no relax all right that's the only way you need to do it. okay so let me go ahead right now plug this possible paypal account and then i'll show you guys how to resolve the flag or the red flag with paypal all right so scrolling down here you can basically see i actually just flagged this particular paper account not right now don't worry i know i did but i just want to use this to show you guys you know how you can actually get to take this off okay so let's click on see details and i'm clicking on see details right now it's going to take us to this page where all we simply need to do is to upload a photo id see guys let me just share with you guys something here eh? you don't have to go and get a fake photo id to upload right here your passport international passport it must be use an international passport because mm? international passport is perfect and not for this case okay so if you don't have an international passport honestly i would tell you that this might not work it's a 50 50 percent chance that it might work it might not work so all you just need to do is to upload your international passport and boom you have been able to fully resolve it okay and at different stages of your PayPal accounts, if there's anything that they basically need and they get to flag your account, they would also request for something which you can just send to them. There's no need to lie to PayPal and all of those things. Just make sure that they don't know that you're in a banned country, that's all. Finish. Just make sure that you do not tell them that oh, you're in Nigeria. Because I remember back then, people had to, PayPal called me, right? Yeah, we had a call. Because I was transacting with my PayPal account at all and got to a point based on my transaction, they called me and they were asking a couple of questions and all. I just told them, oh, I actually I'm currently in, you know, um in a travel. I went on a vacation, I was in a vacation to Rwanda, and you know, they were like, okay, this particular place is very okay and stable. People allow transaction there and all. And I'm like, fine, I'm I'm free to go. And then and then I asked the people whitelist my account so that I don't have any further issues. And that was how it was done. Okay, so those of you guys complain about red flags and you see a red flag, you run away. Please follow through, right? There is a 50% chance that that red flag will go away and you have your... And the thing is, once it goes away, right? Like there is a, a, a new rank on your PayPal account. Like you actually have a higher hand than a couple of people who have never had any flag at all. Do you understand this? Awesome. So this is only how you work the PayPal right here. And men. I'm really hopeful that you guys actually learn and you are able to follow through with this because you know it's really gonna help you guys a great deal okay and do you love this video let me know if you like it in the comments below guys in my next video i have a video actually uh and in this video i i'm sharing a paper alternative if you if paper is giving you a headache please just use this particular platform make sure that you're subscribed and you share this video stick to this channel so that you can actually get that update when i drop it here for you guys okay so this is it for the video today guys thank you so much guys for watching this video and I will see you in my next video. Peace.